What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel and today we continue our journey climbing up the ATP rankings in Tennis Manager. If you missed out on the last episode, well, you'll have missed out on a couple of things. The first thing being Wimbledon qualifying. We played Nishioka in the first round and unfortunately for us, we went out in the first round of qualifying. So it didn't make a great dent in Wimbledon's qualifying, unfortunately. But we did then head over to the start of our American hard court swing where we played in the Gatineau Challenger and we managed to make a good run getting to the semi-finals and playing Valentin Roya, who is just outside the top 200, though I heavily suspect based on his results winning the final, he'll probably be inside that now. And yeah, we uh, we were tight with him in the tie break. It was going backwards and forwards. And then unfortunately for us, we did fall a little bit on the wayside in the second set, losing 6-3. But still progression is being made we are starting to see the fruits of training start to improve us a little bit we've seen volleys timing forehanded backhand consistency go up to 11 and we're working on our serves at the moment in training as well so lots of things that that's going on at the moment in the background we're starting to see a bit more prize money come in so our finances are starting to level out now after hemorrhaging quite a lot early parts of this year. So hopefully with a bit more investment in the academy to come in hopefully the next few months, we might start to see a little bit more improvement from our player as well. But with that being said, we are heading into our next tournament today where we'll be playing in the Savannah Open. So hopefully another good run in this tournament will see us in a good vein of form. As you can see in the, on the screen already, we are in excellent form. Our morale's pretty good. Physical condition couldn't be much better either. So everything's starting to flow quite nicely now. And hopefully some decent results as we head into the first round playing Perez. And we do get through that first round 7-5-6-4. So again, playing Perez. Again, two straight sets. We can't exactly say more than that. And in the round of 16, we do go out against Lee 2. Again, he's almost inside the top 200. So this is sort of the block we're having at the minute in playing these types of players. And again, there's a big gap between us and the top 200, I'd say, personally, in our skills. But if you look at what he can do, he's, he's an experienced pro. He's 28 years old. Some of his stats are going up almost into 19 territory potentially. So these aren't any slouches that we're playing at the moment. And with a career best ranking of 190 in the world, and he's probably going to jump back into the top 200 with a good run in Savannah. Really, we should be struggling against these guys because our skills need a bit of work between now and probably the end of the season, really, before we start challenging these top 200 players on a consistent basis. Not saying that we can't beat them, but it may be a challenge to get past one or two of them as uh, in these early stages of getting to this level of tournament. So our registration for the US Open qualifying has been accepted, so we'll be going into that. Hopefully, again, we can get into maybe the second or third round of qualifying, but we'll have to see who we get in that. Um, but yeah, we've also been told by our trainer we need to work on our serve. So we have actually put in um, in last week before we after we got knocked out. Sorry, we did put in some powerful serve training, and now we're looking at our forehands and backhands. And then probably the next week, if we go out early again, we'll put in some more powerful powerful serve training, as recommended by our trainer. And as you can see with that week's training, we do get a boost in our focus forehand and backhand. So trying to work on those skills as time goes on. And we've just had the 1000 tournament in Montreal, Canada. And as you can see, Alcraz coming out on top in a free setter against Nadal. 4-6, 6-2, 6-4. So Alcraz continuing to show why he is so highly thought of on the rankings. Knocking out Djokovic on the way as well. Popper in making a deep run in the tournament, which is interesting to see. So, yeah, that's sort of the big news coming out at the top end of the men's circuit. 
And unfortunately for us, we went out in the first round of the 100 Challenger Tournament. We were playing in it in Vancouver against McKinnon, who was about 100 places below us. So yeah, a couple of early losses in tournaments now. We need to try and refocus our training a little bit and see what we can do in the next tournament in a couple of weeks. So again, putting a lot of serve power training in at the end of that tournament week. And you can see how much of a boost it's made by putting in four sessions in there. We've had a 30% boost. And again, we've got to, I think we've got to focus on that serve power and the serve accuracy and hope that continues to be a tool and a little bit of a, a trick card we can pull in the middle of matches to pull out aces when we're in tight situations. So again, form in the past couple of tournaments hasn't exactly shown what we can do. But we are progressing in terms of our skills. And I think that's the main aim for this last part of the season. So, yeah, let's see how we do in this next tournament. So here we are then. The next tournament will be the US Open qualifying. We are jumping through these next couple of months that we've had, obviously, since Wimbledon qualifying in the last episode. Because we have spaced out the tournaments a little bit more to try and put in more training for us to really focus on those skills, like I mentioned before. In terms of where we are in the draw, we are in the middle of the pack. So we will be playing Santiago Santiago Far Rodriguez Taverna. And again, he's been as high as almost in the top 150 in the world. And again, mental mental stats and the return stats are looking like his biggest allies here. So we'll see what we can do. And it's a good opportunity, I think, for us to try and get out of this first round of qualifying. We'll have to see who we come up against if we do win. It'll be, oh, it could be Royer again. So we could be playing an old enemy who knocked us out recently. So let's see if we can get through this first round. Because, again, it would be a step forward in terms of our attempts to get into a main draw of a Grand Slam. So here we go, then. A big opportunity for us to try and get out of the first round of qualifying of a slam for the first time. And of course, just like last time, we are hoping for a decent performance at least, I think. I know we we did all right against Nishioka, but again, I feel like there were some missed opportunities, especially in terms of being able to break our opponent. And maybe we might be able to get that. Our morale going into this was rock bottom according to our profile on, on the player. So, who knows where we're at. I've given a bit of a motivational speech beforehand and his motivation seemed to go up. So, signs are there that there is still a bit of um, mental fortitude there. But I'm just hoping we don't go down an early break here. Um, and again, just trying to up the intensity a little bit with our player to try and get him to focus on the task at hand as he wins the first point of the serve. He puts it out wide, and it's a nice deep return. Nice flat forehand, though. Nice and aggressive. It's how we want to play it. And yeah, we'll just have to see how uh, Santiago plays, because he had a few different tactics on his profile that he'll be able to use to his advantage, I'm sure. And that's a good start on our service game to go 40 love up. And again, hopefully that serve training will bear it fruits early on but of course it's a it's a long process and we hold our first service game and we've got to the latter part of the set we're three four on serve but we are 15 40 down and a second serve ace is just what we need oh we've double faulted to give him the break and hand him an opportunity to serve out the set can we respond immediately and try and get a break back? Again, fairly quick set in all things considered. It's only 28 minutes in, but service games have been pretty quick. There hasn't really been much to report on uh, between the first couple of service games and, and where we're at now. And he's just put that wide. Though it did look like from the animation it, it clipped the line, but I'll uh, take what we can get. And that's a great one-two combo there from Taverna. And he's absolutely blazed that first one. And he aces that second serve. And into the box it goes. And he looks for a passing shot, but he buries that away and he wins the first set. 
So back to the drawing board we're going to have to go, I think. So we've played the first couple of games again in the second set. No real big opportunities on serve. We're 2-1 up now and looking to try and get an early break if we can. We've gone a bit more aggressive with the tactic, trying to play a bit flatter. Use the speed of the court to our advantage. Obviously, you have to wait and see if it's actually going to make a difference or not. But again, we've got to try and change something to try and get as a set at least in the game and, and get some moment, wrestle some momentum back. Um, but again, if we were to lose here, which again, every chance we will, it would definitely be probably our worst run of tournaments that we've had so far in our career. Um, which isn't necessarily negative. It's just, you know, it's a hurdle to overcome and something we need to work, things we need to work on with a player. And we're aware of that as it goes to 2-2. Two -two. A bit of a tight game in the middle of the second set. 3-3, three, three, 40, 30 on our serve. Put it on the serve in the middle there. And just looking to not take this to juice and we do manage to get through. I want to try and change the return if I can. And just try and get it as deep as possible as we can on the first serve and go down the line on the second serve just to try and get ourselves a little bit more of a look in his service games. And he's annoyed at the minute as our player. Again, he's that's the that's the thing against these big servers. You've got to stay patient. You've got to wait for your opportunity for them to maybe Lose a bit of concentration, have a bit of a blip. We've seen it many a time of the great returners in the game, the Djokovic's, the Murray's. They might not get many opportunities to break against the big servers, but you've got to wait for that one moment and take it. And that's what the top pros do. And that being said, we were 40 love down, I think. Oh, he's just hit that one past us. But we got a couple of points in that service game. As the second set continues. Oh, great volley on the line there for Taverna. 40 30 on our serve at 4 4, and we put that one away. So now the pressure is on Taverna to serve this one out to keep himself in the set. Can we get an opportunity here? That is the question. If we can just get one or two points and make it a bit nervy for him. He might start to feel the pressure a little bit. And down the line we go. And what a great return that was. 30 love up on on his serve. And now is an opportunity that we haven't really had before at any point in the match. But again, he's just got such good width on the saves. It's tricky to get ourselves into it. And that's perfectly placed on the line. And the player's getting angry now, which isn't a good sign. He almost... Let's just talk to him. And he just puts that away and turns it round from Love 30 down to four straight points. It's now 5-5 five, five on serve. And it's now advantage to Taverna on our serve, so he's got a break point here. And we serve it beautifully on the line. And again, going aggressive on the forehand, trying to put it away, and we go back to juice. Big moments in the match here, if we can see it through. Then the least we'll get is a tie break, and we're on advantage on our serve. You can see there's a bit more pop in the serve now. And he's uh, put that well away on the second serve to take it back to juice. And there we go. Oh, that's just a great forehand. And forehand. Oh, backhand, sorry. Down the line. Takes it back to juice. And go back to advantage. Pressure moments here for the young protégé. Oh, he's just nets it. Just trying to find any way to get through these games now. And that is a great shot. And he almost gets it back, does Taverna, but he nets it. 
So opportunity now to try and put this advantage away and hold on to save, but we net it again. And this second set has gone a good distance longer than the first set. Half an hour of the first set, and this is almost at 45 minutes. The second set alone. And he nets it, but it goes over. Is that the bit of luck Taverna needed? Oh, I thought I was going to net the way it came off the strings. And he's put it away. And he now has a golden opportunity to serve this one out. He double faults the first point. And we scrambled to get the second serve back. <sighs> second serve goes in. Oh, we just can't seem to get to the second shot in time. I think we've got to work on the return game a little bit. But it's two match points now for Taverna. He nets the first. He gets the second away. And it's just gone out. Can we get something on? Oh, he's double faulted it to take it to juice. So we get a second go at this. Has he tightened up a little bit? Time will tell. Oh, that's a great stretched forehand. And now match point again. We get the return back, but he puts it away. And it's 6-3, 7-5 to Verna. So despite a poor run of results, we are almost in the top 300. We are 318th in the world. And again, I'm sure the players feel frustrated over the past month's results. But we do have more tournaments coming up. And we have registered for a few, waiting to hear back, of course, on those registrations. So we'll have to see, obviously, what happens in the next episode in terms of what happens with our tournaments but again we're working on everything that we need to work on in terms of helping our player develop um and again working on the serve working on maybe a bit of movement might be the next thing because i think if we can work on the footwork a little bit more then maybe we might be able to just try and reach those shots when a player puts a forehand away we might be able to we've been quite close to getting to them but there's I, I see an opportunity if we improve that movement we might be able to get to those shots a little bit more regularly and just give that play that opposition one more shot to play but again it's all in the training that's what we've got to work on and see what we can do and yeah we've uh we've got work to do it's been pretty plain sailing up until this past month and we've just hit a bit of a bump in the road. So yeah, let's hit the training ground, get prepped for the next set of tournaments, and I'll see you there on the next episode. As always, folks, if you've enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, we'll see you out on the tennis court.